Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Ski Ski. I appreciate you tuning in today. We're gonna do a little something a little bit different. Uh, there's a part of uh, Empires and Puzzles that's a regular uh, item that you keep on grinding out and that's the Titan Attacks. Um, I don't do a lot of uh, lately Titan Attacks, but we merged with our, uh, our fellow members from another alliance to make a new alliance and we're trying to share best practices. And I was blessed to be in alliance before the one I'm in now um, with a gentleman that's still with me, uh, his uh, screen name is called Copperbag. Uh, we used to be in a small alliance, there was only like three to five of us, and I was new to Empires and Puzzles, and he would always churn out some ridiculous numbers on the Titan. And um, it varied depending on the color. But you know, when I'm back then, that was about a year and a half ago, I would be getting like 18 to 20,000 per attack, and he's churning out 50 to 80,000 per attack, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Uh, what am I missing? You know, what guys am I doing wrong? And after, you know, prodding and uh, begging, you know, Copper Bag actually shared some great techniques. Um, things I've learned, and we'll go through those today um, as we do a playthrough. But I think the big thing to understand is you have to identify what the color of the Titan is. You know, if it's, if it's a purple Titan, you want to have a lot of yellow in the opposition. If it's a yellow Titan, you want to have a lot of purple. But the thing that you want on top of that is someone that adds that extra attack. Um, somebody like a Wukong or a, Rav, a Ranvar. Um, you know, I had never used these guys and you know, they told me about it and I finally put it in and my numbers started to increase. It went from 18 to 20,000 to 30 to 50,000 and a little higher. And, and in the right sequence and adding some other things to it, you can even do better by adding some battle items like scrolls of alterations or, you know, hurricanes or, uh, harpoons. You know, using these together in the right times, you can go take your shots from being a thousand or under to three to five thousand per shot. That's the difference. And that's what we'll do a playthrough today is we had a purple Titan. I have a, my yellow team, which is my strongest attack team for Titan. We actually had a purple Titan last time. Too bad I didn't tape that one. I actually had a score of 133,000 in one attack. You know, one round. I mean, that's that's awesome. That's off the charts. I think that's one of my best. Uh, today's isn't that bad. I mean, I take today's uh, as I'm using an example anytime. So why don't you? Um, we'll go through it today and we'll see what we can glean from it. And if you have any questions, reach out to me and we can talk about it. So, like I said, today's is um, a, a purple titan. I've got my holy assassin team, which is yellow, and. Um, We've loaded up harpoons, roll of alterations, I think hurricanes, and uh, something to load up or activate Wukong immediately. So a mana producer. So immediately you want to activate his producing, and then you want to find the weak point. You want to get that shot up there at the weak point. Because what you do is then you activate a uh, harpoon, and then boom, boom, boom. And then you'll use the, har uh, the hurricanes to mix up the board to try to get more yellow to the board. And at the right moment, Use the scroll of alteration to max out your yellow and try to really just hit a home run. You know, boom. I mean, right now it's like, okay, that's not that great. So we need to get that um, ability going better. So when we're done here, we activated, we got Wukong. We want to activate his ability because we want to get that plus 185 in there. Because when we do that, those tiles are worth so much. We've activated here, scroll to alteration. I don't like what I see, so I'm going to mix it up with the. Uh, a hurricane. Now I see a lot of fours. I was trying to find a something that activates the gem, but I'll take the fours. So boom, we hit another. You want to stun the Titan as well. So when you hit that weak spot and there's stun, hit them. Because wow, look, I just had a bank of three shots for 3,000 each. Boom, that one's for 1,700. Boom, for 4,500 because we hit the weak spot and a 2,700. I mean, we're almost getting 10,000 hit. Boom, there's another 10,000. Then he's stunned again. You know, boom, boom, and this activates my guys. My Holy Assassins are quick, they're very fast, they're fast, and boom, they get a lot of attacks in. And here's another shot at the end for another, you know, 5,000 plus. Bam, it goes quick, but look how quickly in two minutes, what did we end up with? 76,000 in one attack for the Titan. Wow, it moves fast, there's a lot of things you get. It's nothing you can do slow. You've got to get it all lined up. But boy, if you had, I mean, I only use one scroll of alterations. If I had used maybe one or two more, I probably, that score would have been easily over into the hundred thousands and stuff like that. 
Um, but scroll of alterations are a hard uh, material to come by. But harpoons, you know, hitting the hitting the Titan up the weak spot, getting it stunned, using a harpoon at that time, and then hitting it hard with everything yellow. Man, you'll get those three and four thousand uh, point hits. You know, maybe three or four times in one shot, and that's what you're trying to do. So. You know, test it out. You know, if you got to use Ranbar or if you've got somebody else that adds that 100 plus percent to your uh, your guys attacks. Um, it's huge. Um, if you have any questions, reach out. We can talk about it further. Um, appreciate you watching today. Check out some other content on Ski Ski. And like always, this is Ski Ski out.